In today's video, we are going to talk about solder seal connectors. Let's get that focused. There we go. I'm going to show you how to install these things. Pretty cool little, little gadget. Easy. Just put a little heat on it. Sucks it right up. Uh, seals up those two wires. Pretty awesome. Pretty easy, especially if you don't have the solder iron. Um, we send those out with a few of our of, of our products. So if you get a new our new power box, we're going to send some of these some of these plugs out. Go in here, and this is how you run your ice shack or your fish finder or what whatnot. So you're definitely going to want to stay tuned. Watch this video. Here we go. Ice hole power. Get you so. Here's a. Here's what I'm using. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below, Amazon link to, to these. So let's talk about what these splices here consist of. Let's try to get that in frame. There we go. We have solder in the middle. We have a couple couple bands. These are some uh, adhesive to hold on to that wire, and the rest is it, and that's all in a heat shrink tube. So. Um, what we want to do is we want to put that wire in, we want to heat up one side, let that uh, squeeze down that wire, heat up the other side, let that squeeze down the wire, and then heat up the middle. So first thing I'm going to do, these already have a little bit of tin solder on them, so we're just going to snip those off. We're going to start clean. Alright, so grab your, grab your sleeve, throw it on your wire, kind of Fan those wires out a bit. We want to just mesh them together. So we'll fan this one out. Mesh them together and collapse them down on each other. Just want to get a good inner interconnection, interlock. Get those wires all. meshed up. We'll slide that guy right over it. I keep those blue bands on your insulation and your solder on the wire. It doesn't take much for that blue adhesive to start melting. We will send you an extra one just in case you screw it up let's get that side there we go now work on the middle and that doesn't take too long either you ever see it starting to flow yeah, that's pretty good now we're going to put that set that there to cool we don't want to pull this apart before it cools off because it'll just stretch it out now when this stuff cools i'll grab grab up one i did earlier when it cools kind of becomes cloudy you'll see it turn from clear to cloudy that's when you know it's it's tough so what i was saying earlier about the solder running see that right there this is one I did earlier see it, how that solder came out that's when I did the, the middle first when I heated up the middle so just make sure you get both these ends really really good we'll go ahead and seal up this this other this other one Hey, if you haven't done so already, do me a favor, hit that like button and consider subscribing. It really helps us out. The YouTube analytics likes it when you guys do that. So we'll get that meshed up. Bring this guy over.
Now this one I'm going to pull apart right away and show you what happens when you pull it too soon. Honestly, this is oddly satisfying just watching that solder flow. I don't know. I could do this all day. All right. So you pull that off. We got a good solder, solder run there. Now, if you don't let it set up, the stuff just stretches like that. You don't want to do that. That solder was still liquefied in there. Now, this one that's had time to cool. This thing is, that that's pretty damn tough. So do me a favor, if you haven't already, hit that like button, it really helps us out. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description for these uh, solder seals. And uh, if you got something out of this video, yeah, please consider hitting that subscribe button and check out this next video, especially if you wanna learn a little something about lithium batteries. Thanks for watching, guys.